so I feel a little more normal. It's been quite a while since I posted and I know y'all want to know why I haven't posted. We'll get into that so stay tuned and then I have so much going on today so I'm gonna take you to the back and show you what's up. There's some tweaks that I need for this van. The first one starting with this area. I need this bar gone. There, I've been living in this van unconverted like the conversion is not finished and this is what it's like so this is the number one thing I noticed because I've been living in my car I'm used to just throwing everything in the passenger seat instead of getting up and going there I don't want to pull over in the middle of the highway when I want to get something so I need to absolutely make this into something and as of right now I have um, empty ginger bottles I like this stuff so it's not beer, it is ginger, ginger juice, all of that. Gotta be organized and then let's get up. All right, we have uh, thing number two that we have to fix. This is some leftover wood that I was using for other things in my van. It is crooked, but I was able to find a straight edge and screw it into the actual beam of the van. Uh, I left a space there and I uh, secured it with this area but the main thing is I wanted space so I could have like a fence area so my animals don't climb up here while I'm driving problem number three I attempted to um, put this up here and it was fine however there's some beams and um, I wasn't able to attach right here because there's a beam right there but it's not on that side so every van is not symmetrical and then I one day I went to go pull the curtain back and this thing popped off and so I lost all of these things onto the ground okay here we go this was supposed to be my makeup area I wanted all my mirror right here I wanted to put lights right here battery operated uh, and then I had my mini ottoman with storage inside and I was gonna put all my makeup beauty stuff in there because I did, I have a lot and then food bin that's not supposed to be there none of this stuff is supposed to be there that's my workers box has tools and a bunch of stuff uh, I am debating whether I should put my bed back on this side or whether I should keep it over there as of right now I like the back because I can keep that dresser there and put stuff underneath. If I have my bed over here, I cannot put my dresser right here because there's a wheel whale that's about takes up about that much space. So I cannot fit that there. I won't have a spot to put my cat litter, uh, toilet accessories, etc. Um, now, as you're looking, you'll see a big bin right here that I handcrafted myself. Yeah, it looks terrible. Um, building is not for everybody, okay? So, I was gonna make a toilet there. Uh, to be honest, I need help. Yeah. So, I think I'm gonna throw this out. It's not stable. And I'm not good at building, I found out. It's not enjoyable. Um, that's what that is. <laughs> So the other thing I am unhappy with, well, there's more. Um, these lights, when they just hang, yeah, it's not attractive to look at. Also, if you notice, my entire van is kind of bland. There's not much color in here. And I would like to change that. This area looks way too bland. It's not a lot going on. Um, this side, I got fed up with them wires and I decided to use the leftover countertop sticker to stick it up there temporarily because I wanted it out the way and it was, yeah, now I didn't do it with that side. The only part of my van that I actually like is that little shelf with the little remotes. Maybe even that sand dollar. Maybe the stained glass. And I'm not gonna lie, I am pretty proud of this area. So I did build a low spot so I could put my fridge and it's very very stable very sturdy very stable 
I'm using this because I had it, but let me tell you, if I had to buy a sink, uh, I would definitely get something like bigger. I would get something way bigger because I can't imagine doing dishes and they don't fit in the sink I'm trying to wash them in. But um, it's good for like brushing teeth in like small pots like this, but this giant pan is uh, barely fits in there. So I'll basically be like spraying it with a water bottle and cleaning it that way and then letting it dry on top with my... Thank you. Uh, I need to get professional 3M 2.5 limo tint and that is very expensive so I have not done that. Um, and I cut this in half and realized I have, this doesn't stay, this, this falls down. So even though I only need half the window of Reflectix, I need to put an entire window ref of Reflectix in order for it to stick. It does not stay. And stuff that I've been using all the time pot was eight dollars from a mom and pop shop that's really good for a rice pan all right so that's what i have for my water right now notice it's not the other water jugs there was an issue uh with the other water jugs i was very disappointed so they are not going to waste but i can't use them for drinking water they are aquarium jugs and the inside um it had like a a chemical or smell or some type of smell that i wasn't used to so uh, I found out I wasn't supposed to be drinking out of those bottles. All right, Goodwill haul. That was that right there. I know it doesn't fit. But you know what? I want to put like a little angle piece right here, a little Victorian angle piece. Uh, this van, I'm going to be real. This is not the way I want it all this to turn out. This, I'm, I don't know what to do with this. So if you guys have any ideas, this is the struggle. So... So I know you guys want to see a van tour, so I figured I'd show you around, but if I'm honest, I've been sleeping in here and it hasn't been uh, that luxurious. It has not felt like home because it's a mess in here and I am not done building. So it's actually quite frustrating. Uh, whenever I walk around, I trip over something because it doesn't have a spot yet. and. I want to do something to fix that so today my best friend will be driving down in the car I gifted her and she is coming over here to help and see what we could do I need the bed more sturdy I'm trying to see what I can do to fix that and as well as that um, I realized when I drive I don't see through the back I don't even bother looking I use my side mirrors and they work great so I no longer need to look through my rear view mirror and see in here. I'm keeping it because I would like to know what my animals are doing while I'm driving. Um, my animals have not been in here full time. They have been with a friend and I, you know, have to pay for that. Um, but it's because this is not converted. This is not finished. And if I were to drive and I put something somewhere and it fell on them, I could never forgive myself. But what I've been doing is going to work and then driving all the way back here to see my babies, have them sleep next to me, and then taking off in the morning. And all that driving and all that effort, and then it's a lot. It's, it leaves me exhausted. I haven't even been eating right because nothing is set up right. So I have been just trying to deal with what I can deal with, and it has been taking a toll on my mental health, my physical health, and I really just want to get all this done. And I wish other van lifers would talk about this more. Um, but you know, I'm going to give you what's real. So if they haven't, you know, this is what it is. No van tour. It's not finished. That's, that's why they haven't, um, this right here. I, I do wish every, this is not the goal of the look I was going for. I want it more of a wood whitewash, like everywhere, and then I want it a sparkly, glossy marble looking countertop with a curve to it, and then I wanted, uh, so I wanted this mermaid, but if I put it on my bed and then I went to go open my back doors on my lunch break. 
and this fell off my bed onto the concrete and I'm so upset but I can place it back together with some crazy glue somehow and it'll look like it's together but I wanted her to be somewhere special in here and I haven't decided where yet so right now I'm waiting on my best friend whether she lets me film her is a whole nother topic she does not like cameras on her or her babies so and I think she might be bringing her kids because somebody didn't want to watch him uh, anyway um, <laughs> you always gotta stick up for your best friend but okay so I don't know what the plan is today but the goal is I want to put the hinges on and make some cabinet doors I also want to uh, make the bed more stable so I was looking into twin memory foam mattresses and I also went into Walmart yesterday and I saw that there's a futon for this like $20 difference. So do I put a futon in here or do I just get a memory foam mattress? So I am in Walmart right now. We're about to go measure this futon to see if it's under 68 inches. <laughs> that that is 68 inches. I need to find a futon that's hopefully under 68 inches. <laughs> and uh, the eight inches. And it's that one right here. It's a 66 inches right here. Budget. Uh, so I'm on the Walmart app right now. And the Walmart app has this barcode thing. So I'm about to use this. So this one's $124. Can y'all see that? And then so I want to check this one too. This one looks like it's the same black futon that's over there. Just simple black futon. So 178. Dang. Okay, so it looks like I'm gonna go with the gray one. And now hopefully this fits in my van. Because what's going on is these the only thing you need to do to assemble these is lock them in right here and it looks like there's these little screws right here that you just put in I don't even need these I could probably get longer piece of wood and make my bed up higher then it will be too cheap so uh, we're gonna go to Burger King so I'm back in the Chevy Cavalier but this is temporary my bestie let me drive and um, we had to leave the futon in Walmart because I realized it wasn't gonna fit in here so I'm going to feed me and the babies and then I'm gonna come back with my van that's up with next to my uh, my vans with my babies with my babies Kika and Zaza so I'm gonna go get my van I'm gonna come back to this Walmart the lady's holding it for us for 30 minutes and then we're gonna see if it fits in the van one thing I didn't do so I didn't eat this morning I should have because I think better but I didn't measure the height and I know the top part of my van gets more narrow and smaller I believe there's a five to six inch difference and so I'm not sure if this futon is even gonna fit in my van for the area that I need it which is no bueno but uh, if that doesn't work out I think I'm gonna try getting a queen memory foam topper which is three inches and then doubling it gluing it together with adhesive and seeing if that fits better we will see let's go yes my best friend came all the way over here to see me she's already doing too much you gave me your car I love it. This is a good running car, you know? I, it actually, I feel like like it runs so swift. Like all the cars, you know? I could keep in the lines real easy, you know? Mm -hmm. I gotta get used to my van. Yeah. Mm. With the food. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> okay. Yay. I love sort it. Okay, I am back at the house where I keep my animals at right now 
and I'm about to go to Walmart. My best friend's about to follow me. The futon is not gonna fit in this O2 Chevy, so I gotta put it in here, which is fine. So once I put it in here, we're gonna see how it's gonna fit right there. Guys, I am so scared it's not gonna fit like in this area where it gets more narrow. <sighs> you know, I might have to get rid of my dresser, but we will see. Okay, so I'm at a Walmart right now and I noticed I just pulled in and there's like, you know, a leak. So, I'm gonna just open the door up. No, right now, when we get back from Walmart, no, you, you're going to your dad's house. So, you know, I spilled a drink. A Burger King drink. It was a sweet tea. And uh, I have a giant hole to the outside of the vehicle. My goodness. I can see outside my vehicle. I can see the ground from inside my vehicle. So I was wondering, I didn't even know I spilled anything. I noticed a leak and now I know why I have a leak. Um, that is the only part of the vehicle I did not check for the ground for rust because this was brand new when I bought it, this this cover, so I just figured it was nice and in good, good condition and it's not. Uh. Okay, so we have some news. Hide your face. Your mom don't want your face in the video. Um, so I'm gonna have to blur your face out, sweetie. Um, yeah, so you can't see anything because he's in the way, but um, the futon's like just on top of everything that I own right now. Uh, doesn't really look good. Okay, so we are back at my friend's house, and I have my Zaza here with me. Uh, my best friend's here. We are taking everything out of the van because everything was uh, on top of everything. Like, it was really bad. So, this is the realistic uh, viewpoint on what van life is really like when you're living in a van that is not finished being converted. Everything is hectic. And I'm just doing what I can to make it work. And this is what it's really like. So, hopefully you have a realistic standpoint on, you know, Sometimes you gotta do some extra work just to get by. But you know what? In the end, I feel like it's all gonna be worth it. So say hi to Zaza. That my Zaza, baby. Hi Zaza, give me paw. Give me paw, good girl, baby. You're a good baby. I love you so much. Alright, I have to make a run over to Lowe's. I'm using my O2 Chevy while my best friend is watching her kids and helping out. So, she has all my stuff out of the room right now. We moved all of it out. I don't think I have it all on tape because it was in fast forward and we were just trying to get everything done. Uh oh, I don't remember how to work this. But, um,. Now I'm going to Lowe's. I'm gonna see if the futon thing, if the le if I could find Lowe's like legs for the futon at Lowe's longer, then I can show you guys what I'm trying to do with the futon. So I went to Walmart and I got these. At, not Walmart. Um, Lowe's. I got these. The screw isn't that long, so I have that. And then I said to buy this kind of hardware um, this is tilted and the legs that it comes with is absolutely horizontal and flat so I don't know if it's gonna work but we're gonna try to drill we're gonna try to drill this directly into and see if it works let me turn the light on so it's the sun went down i'm still trying to figure this out i can't lift this up without help because if i just 
bend it over trying to pick it up. I'm really frustrated. Uh, I'm really frustrated right now. If I try to pick it up, those legs bend. So uh, I'm really like kind of done with this shit. This is not not what I planned, but you know what? I'm trying to stay positive and. Um, I don't know what else to say. Oh, and if you're wondering why I have to use my light on my camera, it's because for whatever reason, my lights don't work anymore. They blink on and off. Yep, I'm charging them, but it doesn't seem to be the issue. It's something to do with this wire because a couple seconds ago it was like that. So now I need new strobe lights or solar lights. Yep, not having a good night. It is now late. You probably can't even see me in this video. Um, I'm just frustrated at this point and I'm trying to get all this done and figured out. It's been uh, since July. So what, a couple months, July, August, September. I was hoping to have my build done by then, but it's not. So I'm just trying to hang in here right now. I, uh, I had a platform bed and I took it apart today, so now I'm bummed out that I have to sleep on the floor. But, I don't know, well, I'll hopefully have a better plan the next time I talk to you guys and maybe get somewhere than, farther than where I am right now. So, staying positive and I'll see you next video.